Commander, we've got the last of the population centers under control. Search and interrogation procedures have begun. Good. Ask him about Vader. Do you have a location for Lord Vader? He left this central interrogation camp a short while ago for your location. Very good. And the surveillance system? The main surveillance system will be operational shortly, sir. When it's functioning, maintain total audio monitoring of the spaceport. Sir. Ah, you're right on schedule, Lord Tyon. The planet's almost entirely under our control. And here she comes, the shining jewel in the organic crown. She's bringing her own bodyguards. <laughs> Greetings, Your Highness. Lord Tyon, I demand to know your the meaning Highness, of this. Your Highness, may I say that while I regret that circumstances require this inconvenience, I'm delighted to see you again. My ship was intercepted on her approach and forced to land under escort. The Tantive IV is a consular ship on a diplomatic mission. You have no right to Perhaps your captain here, Captain... Uh... Captain Antilles, Lord Tyre. Antilles, yes. Perhaps he'll be good enough to explain what cooperation the Empire may command when emergency powers are invoked. Emergency powers? For what reason? When peace and stability are threatened, it's the Emperor's duty to intervene to ensure his subjects' security and well-being. Well-being? They're the ones you're arresting! Your Highness, in view of the uncertain situation here, I think we should depart Raltier as soon as possible. A sensible attitude, Antilles. It speaks well of your loyalty. How long will this state of emergency exist? Until certain troublemakers have been sifted from the general populace. Now, just what was your purpose in coming here, Your Highness? A humanitarian gesture, Lord Tyon. I'm afraid you'll have to be more precise. I ask in my official capacity now. The Tantive IV was to deliver medical supplies and spare parts to the High Council of Raltier. Pity to say the High Council no longer exists, either as individuals or as a political entity. Your misguided charity would have been spent on traitors. Surely you don't think that the entire population Enough were of them in... were sympathetic to the Rebel Alliance to require a purification here. The Empire will exert close guidance over them for their own safety. With a Starfleet blockade? With impressment gangs and interrogation centers? I recommend great care in choosing your words, Princess. I have a high regard for your family and, if I may say so, for you yourself. But there are certain things which even an Organa may not say with impunity. Her Highness was expressing understandable distress at the situation. Well, I should search your ship. Procedure recommends it. Unless, of course, the princess would care to dine with me this evening? I suppose that could be... Yes? Right. There's an ambush on the space field southern perimeter. The firefight's still in progress, sir. Have the area contained. Deploy troops immediately. I want the area contained. Sir. Commander, send in one of our reserve companies. I want prisoners. And have Lord Vader meet us there. Yes, Lord Tyon. Princess Leia, you'll have to return to your ship for safety's sake. A foolish rebel gesture, doomed to failure, of course. We've got the entire city well under control. I'll leave an escort here for you. I've my own, thank you. Very well. Your Highness, Captain Antilles. Commander, the southern perimeter. Quick. Sir. I suppose we have little choice but to go back to the Tantivy, Antilles. What if Lord Tyon searches her cargo? He'll only find medical supplies and technical equipment. Combat-type medipacks, three surgical field stations, spare parts and power units suitable for military equipment? Your Highness. What was that? Your... Uh... Antilles over there. That man by the land speeder. He's wounded. Come on. Perhaps we can be of some help after all. Here. Your Highness, I must speak to you. He's been shot. Are you all right? Uh, let's sit him up. Oh, oh. We have to summon a medic from the tent of it. No, no time. That attack, a diversion, so I could get through to you. Why? Information. I, I absorbed it under hypnotic imprint. Sword in his brain. What information? We, we, can't, we can't talk out here. What? They're setting up a surveillance system in the administration center. They'll monitor any conversation that's not shielded. I'll call the ship. Tanta before, this is the captain. Train sensors on the city's administration center and tell me whether their surveillance system is operating. Negative, sir. Inform me if there's any change. Uh, We've got to get uh, this man aboard the ship. Wait. Look. More stormtroopers. Quickly, hide him in the speeder. <coughs> Your Highness, this puts you in too great a danger. No greater than yours. <coughs> there. You lie still in there, and not a sound for all our lives. Antilles, look. In that first speeder. The black mask and cloak. Darth Vader. So... Even Lord Tyon has an Imperial Watcher over his shoulder.
Welcome, Princess Leia, to Raltia. Lord Vader? Once again, you appear where rebel activity is rampant. You should be more prudent. You might come to harm someday. If you're looking for Lord Tyon, he's out on the space field's southern perimeter. I believe he's awaiting your arrival. It occurred to me to wonder why those traitors would throw their lives away on a useless gesture. Perhaps they hope to steal a ship. Or to divert us. You'll excuse us, Lord Vader, but it's my duty to get the Princess back to the safety of the Test before. Stand where you are, Captain. You've entered a security zone. Your ship and cargo, your vehicle and your own persons, even yours, Your Highness, are subject to search here and now. Ours is a diplomatic mission of mercy. An Imperial decree of special emergency outweighs that. You're under our jurisdiction. Lord Vader, the Imperial Senate won't take this lightly. And any decision to search our ship rests with Lord Tyon. He's in charge here. And so he is. Yes, we'll make this completely legal. And then see just what it is you're conceding. I wouldn't try to raise ship. Starfleet has orders to file without warning. Driver, to the southern perimeter. We better get back to the Tantivy at once, Your Highness. We must get this man to a medic, and the shipping records have to be altered. Why? To make it appear that you know nothing of the ship's cargo, or of our friend here, for that matter. I won't let you take the blame for this, Antilles. We must find a way of preventing Tyon from searching the ship. Please, we can't discuss it out here any moment now. That surveillance system will be in operation. That's it. What? The surveillance system. Don't you see? Tyon is certain to use it to eavesdrop on us. Find out how soon it'll be working. Tantivy, this is the captain. How close to operational is that surveillance system in the admin center? They're in pre-activation now, sir. A few more moments. Notify me when they're preparing to activate. Yes, sir. You're certain they'll be able to monitor our conversation? Anything we say out here in the field will be subject to monitoring when the system's activated, yes. And I shall set a little trap for Lord Tyon. I'll take advantage of that bloated ego of his. Take your cues from me, Antilles. Captain, the system's energizing in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, mark. I think I shall let Lord Tyon search the Tantivy, Antilles. It'll serve him right. What do you mean, Your Highness? Well, Lord Tyon is attractive, but he's too forward, too confident. He needs to be taught a lesson. If he searches the Tantivy, he'll anger my father, and I'll be able to keep him at arm's length a little longer. And if he doesn't order a search? I think it's unlikely. He's not that much of a gentleman. You're probably right. And we must leave at once for Alderaan. First officer. Sir. Request clearance for immediate takeoff. Yes, sir.